Today's tutorial features this horse and horseshoe mani. For this design you'll need a thin art brush and a dotting tool and some polishes. The ones I've used are pictured here and will be listed below in the description. If you decide to do a gradient like I've done you'll also need a makeup sponge and a q-tip. I chose to do a gradient here on my middle finger and my thumb and that's up to you if you want to do that or just a solid color. Once your background is dry, you're ready to start adding the shape for your horse's head and you'll see I'm just using my white polish and a thin art brush and I'm drawing in that shape for the horse's head. I actually meant to leave more of the background showing, but um, anyway, covered more of my nail than I had planned, but I was still happy with the way it turned out. Once you've completed the outline, you're going to fill in that horse's head with your white polish. And don't forget to add the ears at the top of your horse's head. For this next step, I'm using my dark brown polish and my thin art brush and I'm outlining that shape on my nail. It doesn't have to be perfect because you are going to fill in the shape with the lighter brown so you can tidy that up a little bit. And I should probably mention the reason I'm doing this design is for my niece Jolene and her 15th birthday. Moving on, you're going to fill in that whole white area with your light brown polish or whatever color you decided to do for your horse's head, and you're going to leave that brown outline. There's a couple of spots where I colored over the dark brown outline a little bit too much, so I'm just going back with my thinner brush and tidying those spots up. While you still have that dark brown polish out, you're going to add your nostril and you're going to add the horse's mane. And you'll see I start here by adding the bangs and then I go along the side of my nail and add the rest of the horse's mane. I'm just using my thin art brush and that same dark brown polish. Using my dotting tool and that same dark brown polish, I'm going to add an eye on the horse. And now I'm going to move over and add the horseshoes to the rest of my fingernails. And you'll see it's just a U shape with a little line on either end. And I randomly place them on my nail, pointing in different directions until my nails are full. I wanted to finish off that horse design by just putting a little white reflection dot in the eye and then I apply my top coat and I'm done. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please comment, share, subscribe, and thumbs up are always appreciated.